L sessions back. It is now quarter four and we have been asked to summarize the leave days from the three locations into a single workbook. Once again, we decided to use the consolidate tool, but this time there's a bit of a problem. Let's open the workbooks and see what the issue is. So again, can you please make sure you minimize your ribbon? Press Ctrl O, click on Browse, and the three workbooks we need are the leave days from Manila, Cebu, and Davao. Click Open. There. All of our workbooks are opened. Now again, we'd like to see them all at the same time. So I'm going to come to View, click on Arrange All, and Tiled, and click on OK. There. Now having a look at our Leave Days workbooks, you will notice that they actually have different numbers of departments. Say for example, in Davao, we have five departments in Cebu, we have six departments, while in Manila, we have 11 departments. And not only that, but they're listed in different orders. So this makes a consolidate by position impossible. Fortunately, there is a variation called consolidate by reference. The way this works is actually matches the data in either a column or a row and summarizes on that basis and that's exactly what we need so let's see how it works so i'm going to click in the cell where the consolidation should begin so here in b5 and then click on data and then data tools and click on consolidate it is the same dialog box we saw before and we go through much the same process. So we will choose the function that we need. So here we will use sum. And then in the reference, you put the reference. So this time, however, a slight change, I am actually going to include the labels on the left. So I've sel I will be selecting um, B5. We will start with Manila, B5 up to G11 and then press add and then another reference for Cebu B5 up to G10 and then click on the vowel from B5 up to G Nine and click on add now if I just pressed ok it's going to do consolidate by position which won't work so I'm going to come to the use labels in and check boxes are over here and you'll see it gives us the option to use the labels in the top row left column or create links to source data. Now we want to use the labels in the left column. So I'm going to tick on that and say OK. And there's our consolidation. So let's just double check our numbers. So accounting, for example, we have For quarter one, fa, uh, from Manila, we have five. And then from Cebu, we have five again. So it's ten. And from Davao, we have two. So it's twelve. Okay. And as we saw with the previous example, you can actually use different functions. So let's try to do an average. So I'm going to scroll down and 
do my consolidating here. So let's try to do an average. Once again, click on the cell and then data, data tools, consolidate, and just change this from average. And then click on because we already have all the reference we just can click or press ok here and there are my average leave days taken for each department so an incredibly powerful tool for summarizing data from separate workbooks that need not be totally identical we have now looked at three ways of working with data from different workbooks First is linking, second is consolidate by position, and lastly, consolidate by reference.